half a million dollar watches, two million dollar supercars, an 80 million dollar shoe? These are stupidly expensive things Ja Morant owns. And first, Ja's jewelry shopping spree that set a world record. Anytime Ja walks in a store, he balls out, literally. And recently he blew 85K to have the best mouth game in the NBA. He already had a diamond grill designed by one of the biggest, uh, I mean, littlest, jewelers in the world, Johnny Dang. But this piece was something a rookie could easily afford. So once Ja leveled up into a superstar, he bought something nobody else in the world owns. This is the first ever flawless hybrid blue diamond grill. So Ja was hyped when he put these in. The piece brought his total spent on teeth to 85,000. No wonder why whenever Jaws at the jeweler, he's gotta take shots. This shit's expensive. But what Ja puts in his mouth is nothing compared to his neck game. He usually gets chains from his favorite jeweler, Icebox, where he spent hundreds of thousands. And buying pieces like these, not only had video game developers put one of his chains in Roblox, Ja set the world record for spending the most money at Icebox of any NBA player ever. And part of it is cause of the expensive pieces gonna convince them to buy. We don't need you all black though. Hold up. A black and white diamond AP, matching bracelets, and a custom chain of his nickname 12 ski. It's getting hard to tell if dude's an NBA player or a rapper. But no rapper's a bigger fan of Ja spending money bags than his boy Moneybag. That's why he spent 50k on a diamond chain of his record label Bread Gang, showed up courtside at Ja's game, and gifted it to him, which sparked rumors that they've been secretly cooking up music. Uh, oh wait, they have been. Ja's been hanging with rappers a little too much. I mean, his entire jewelry collection is worth over $500,000. But Ja's drip game is nothing compared to his whip game, cause his car collection is worth millions. His very first car was some basic that he's kept to this day an all red Mercedes C-Class that cost 30k. But this thing's the cheapest car he owns. Once he became a celebrity, he copped something straight out of Lil Baby music video. This is an all black Dodge Charger scat pack. And Ja had it customized with a red interior, 4G auto rims, and it can go 175 miles an hour. No wonder why he flexed it all over the gram. The whip cost him $50,000. But driving something this fast made Ja develop a car buying addiction. A $90,000 Audi A8, a $140,000 Aston Martin Vintage, a $220,000 Ferrari Roma, and recently Ja fell so in love with Rolls Royce that he not only bought two, he had them fully customized and it cost him 700 k Till the one time he let someone else drive his Rolls and it almost cost him his life. Out of nowhere, Ja posted a heartbreaking video of his damaged car where he said, shaking my head, thought motherfuckers make your birthday good. And even though he might have been in a devastating accident, he just let his fans know he was blessed and that it's still going smooth. I hopped in the other roles today to feel presidential and I'm alive. The car replaceable. Hold up. I guess the car is replaceable, but Ja's collection is worth over a million dollars and he's really talking about buying more cars? Just take all these back. Just bring me by eight Rolls trucks. <laughs> well, he kind of deserves it. Because what he loves more than buying things for himself is spending millions changing people's lives. Even when Ja was rewarded with a contract for $193 million, the first thing he thought of were his teammates. And he promised to spend over $200,000 on rollies for the whole gang. But expensive watches for people he actually knows is one thing. When Ja meets new people, he does things that are so expensive, it makes the news. There was the time he randomly made a waitress's day by tipping her $500. What's your name? Ja Morant. <gasps> <laughs> and when he did that, it became the headline of every sports show. But what he did for his biggest fan became one of the most valuable things any athlete's ever done. Ja found out that a young girl showed up to his games for years and was trying to get every single player's signature, including Ja's, on a basketball until a group of thieves stole it. 
So Ja tweeted asking if anyone knew the family's info and surprised her with a couple expensive things. First, tickets to watch his next game courtside. And these weren't cheap, even on SeatGeek. Courtside tickets to a Grizzlies game cost thousands each. Luckily, they have a green and red color system that lets you know if tickets are a good or a bad deal. So that's why even I use SeatGeek and show up to games. And if you want tickets at the cheapest price possible, use code FLIX or click the link in the description to get $20 off your purchase. But anyways, regardless if Ja used our code or not, tickets weren't even the most expensive thing he did for his fans. After the game, he took off his game-worn shoes and his jersey, autographed both pieces, then gave them to her. And just think, not only did a game-worn jersey of Jaws like this one sell for over $20,000, he even told his fan that she's one of the only people in the world to have his shoe. But as valuable as those gifts are, they were priceless to his fan. Especially when Ja tweeted out that gifting her was his favorite highlight of the night. Now, Ja may have done pretty expensive things for one person, but what he spent on his community is changing the lives of thousands. When he found out that families were struggling all over Memphis, he vowed to make an expensive change. What started off as him handing out pizzas to the homeless eventually turned into donating money to the Boys and Girls Club to help struggling kids. Ja even got his fans involved by letting them know they could help raise money, and he'd match all their donations up to $10,000. But that was just the beginning. Ja also made the news in the winter when he bought hundreds of coats for kids and blessed an entire school with $100 gift cards. He also wanted to give everybody in the area an opportunity to play basketball, so he not only began holding basketball camps, he also took the lead in a court refurbishment project where he had dozens of basketball courts rebuilt and fixing each court cost over $15,000 each. Ja really spent all that money on people he didn't even know, so just imagine what he's done for his family. Because if it weren't for Ja's parents, he never would have made money in the first place. So not only did Ja buy his dad a Dodge Hellcat, he surprised his mom with an Audi. And if she was dancing like that, all because of a car, just imagine how she reacted when Ja bought them their dream home. This 9,000 square foot mansion came with six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and wait, what the? And a theater that plays hoop flicks? Yeah, even Ja's a fan. So why aren't you? Subscribe. Anyways, on the outside, it's even got a backyard pool and a tennis court. Ja bought this place for 2.1 million, but it's priceless compared to what they did for him. Besides, guess who just moved in down the street? Look at my crib. Hey, pops, we neighbors now. <laughs> Ja's crib don't even look like a house. This thing's a f***ing castle. 14,000 square feet, seven bedrooms, a room dedicated to signed player-worn jerseys, and another room for his gaming setup. Of course, Ja also got pool tables, a backyard basketball court, and a water slide with a pool where him and his boys get lit. And with parties like that, now I see why Ja bought this place for $3 million. But see, he ain't always drinking by the water. Jaws got a purchase that helps him party in the air. This is a Phenom 300 G12, aka Jaws private jet. It holds nine passengers and is the perfect place for Jaws to count money. Blast music. And get as drunk as he wants. Choose your poison. I want to choose your poison today, man. This plane cost him $13 million. But not everything Job ja buys is a good thing. Because there's one final purchase that turned his life into an $80 million scandal. May 3rd, 2022. John knew it was almost time for the biggest game of his NBA career, and all eyes were going to be on him. So, he did a little shoe shopping and thought he bought something legendary. But Josh should have been careful who he was dealing with. Once Ja debuted his shoes during the game, things got crazy. He was hitting step back threes, dunking on people, doing whatever the hell this is. But the whole time, fans noticed something weird about his shoes. They were supposed to be ultra rare Kobe 4 preludes and cost Ja a little over a thousand to buy them on StockX. 
but once everybody saw them close up, you could see that the tongue was short, the heel pattern was off, and the Nike swoosh was the wrong color. It turned out that Ja's shoes were fake and went so viral, even Nike heard about it. Just a few days after Ja's controversy, even though StockX tried defending themselves, Nike announced that they were suing them for $80 million. I'm just glad things only get that heated about shoes, and not when it comes to jersey numbers. Cause some NBA players' numbers have secret meanings behind them. One player even got bullied into choosing a number. Things are getting crazy, so click this video, man.